In my short presentation, I will try to explain the reasons why I decided to upgrade from my previous VSEX platform to my new Visumex and Mail90 platform. Main reasons are about the possibility of the centration of the treatment on the vertex rather than on the pupil, which is very much linked to the possibility to treat hyperopic and even high hyperopic patients. I can obtain larger optical zones. I have an aspheric ablation profile, which is very much useful for high prescriptions. Of course, I can do smile, which is off topic now, and I can do press beyond. This is an example of a treatment beautifully centered on the pupil thanks to the VSEX platform, the same in this case. And now we have treatments beautifully centered on the vertex, as you can see in these examples. Also, now I have the possibility to upgrade the previous treatment centered on the pupil to centration on the vertex. And now these are becoming happy patients. So this is another case where I could upgrade, enhance the previous decentral treatment and now it's beautifully centered on the vertex. Why press beyond? Because presbyopia accounts for 40% of our patients, which is a lot in our practice. We used to do a lot of refractive lens exchange, which is an off-topic procedure. We used to implant both diffractive and refractive lenses, but now we have completely upgraded to press beyond. So why press beyond? Because this is the wavefront coming from an eye corrected with a diffractive IOL. You have loose rings with a drop in contrast sensitivity. This is a Fresnel lens, which is the principle behind those lenses, which is not really acceptable. This is a refractive lens. As, as you can see, the quality of vision is a compromise. So from a clinical standpoint, we now get rid of those halos, glares, and uh, night disturbances patients used to complain about with the refractive lens exchange. We get rid of those enhancements we used to do for uh, refractive lens exchange because uh, diffractive lenses works only in a plano eye. So if you have a residual astigmatism or any kind of eye metropia, you need to enhance those patients. We get rid of complications like PCO, earring gas, posterior capsule rupture, or retinal detachment. It's a very small percentage, but still is present if you do intraocular surgery. And overall, the quality of vision and contrast sensitivity is way higher with Presbyon compared to refractive lens exchange. And last but not least, from a financial standpoint, after affording the initial investment for your equipment, you have a very much lower cost per eye, about 100 versus 1,000 euros per eye. And you can also do a lifetime planning for your patients. And still, you can do cataract surgery later on if they develop cataract. And you can acquire a new patient for other practices because your patients spread the word. You can treat presbyopia with laser instead of with surgery.